I think it's correct to say that when you employ storytelling in spoken word, you're able to just communicate so many things about our past, about our history and about our culture. So um, I think that's really the, the main element of spoken word that can really just be able to teach people and educate others about what we stand for and believe in as Africans. I guess I stand for one thing and I've stood by it for quite some time now, and that's young people leaving a legacy. And, and I think not only just young people, but everyone in general being able to do works and do things which um, can actually last and live beyond their own time and beyond the time that they spend on earth because when you actually do that I feel you you always leave a part of yourself that can still live and breathe long past you're gone so that's something which I try to employ in my writing in my storytelling in everything that I do in all my actions and not just in my art and creative work but in different aspects of my life as well. I'm a big bad wolf and I love it the kind of wolf that you would covet. So if you dream of hopping fences that forge defenses, when you dream of smashing through walls and smashing through closed doors, when your nights turn to cinemas screening your triumphs, grab a box of popcorn and upscorn from speaking during the violence against giants that warrants parental guidance, this is territorial conquest at its best. So allow me to be an alpha in this pack, a primed predator with fur everywhere. I prefer you refer to me as Monsieur or Sir Wolfie. Non-aggressive in any way. You see, I am the alpha wolf in the gray world you live in. I am Rama with a mantra betrothed to Raksha. I am a resourceful carnivore having a carnivore with every hunted animal, an instant killer, a big bad wolf mentored solely by a killer to tell you that when you see a brick wall, play a brick game. You have only got to thank for the provision of a tank. When you see blocks stacked to the highest levels, be damned if you don't see Legos. Now let's go punch blockades that weigh the same as trucks owned by brigades. They'll fall like cascades or like Tetris at arcades after a 2019 upgrade. If you see a brick wall, you can be a big, bad wolf. You don't need to blow it down. All you need is a wolf of a wolf's worth to take the brick work and show its true worth equivalent to a wool's worth and have it as a fresh load. Now watch me turn it to gold as I pave my yellow brick road for this is territorial conquest at its best. This is wolf territory. So the only thing here is wolf victory. For I've blown down houses of sticks. I've howled in houses I picked. I browsed for more houses real quick. After I vowed I'd house twigs as trophies I blouse my house with. After I roused my whole clique. I know how houses of straw fall with only one trick. So if you think that I'll fail to blow down a house made of bricks, then you surely must be on the brink of solidifying in ink. Your testament to how your brain regularly shrinks. Who do you think was present when sand began to pour from Jericho's walls? It was none other than a resource for carnivore having a carnivore with every hunted animal. An instant killer, a big bad wolf mentored solely by a killer. This big bad wolf has seen the walls of Jericho crumble and wiped the dust off his shoulders when he did. I've seen the builders fumble when the works of their hand turns to mist. And if you missed the jagged quality in the knife edge letters that slice through sectors of even China's great war, then you and Humpty Dumpty will both enjoy autumn as you have a great fall. For Berlin's war could reach great heights, but we've learned that even Berlin's fall from money heist. I've blown down houses of sticks of howled in houses I picked. I browse for more houses real quick after I vowed at house twigs as trolls I blouse my house with. After I vowed at house twigs as trophies, I blouse my house with. After I rouse my whole clique, I know how houses of straw fall with only one trick, one huff, one puff, and I'd blow their houses down. So please prepare a crown for the next little pig who's about to have a frown. Please prepare my crown is all I ask for. I am like a king. I exchanged my cheetah headgear for a wolf mask, for I've blown down houses of sticks. I've howled, I've huffed, and I've howled. For some brick walls can't come down with one attack. And that's why I call upon my entire wolf pack. So tell me how you will stop a howl that even shivers Liam Neeson's brow. But for now, I'm not alone. And every brick wall we stand before will fall. <laughs>